This video will use the aggregate supply aggregate demand model to show the effects of a change in aggregate demand. If you aren't sure about aggregate demand, aggregate supply and the equilibrium level of national income, you should watch the videos on those topics. The level of aggregate supply is fixed in this model, but the level of aggregate demand can increase or decrease, and this can happen in two ways. The first way is that the slope of the aggregate demand line could change. For every extra $1 of income, households will spend some of that money and save some of it. The amount that they spend determines the slope of the line. If they spend more of each dollar, the slope of the line will increase. And we can see this happening here. As AD moves from AD1 to AD2. It makes sense that an increase in spending is going to increase in lead to an increase in output and national income. So the higher spending levels moves aggregate demand from AD1 to AD2 and as a result we get an increase in equilibrium national income from NY1 to NY2. If households begin to save more, the opposite will happen the slope of the aggregate demand line will get flatter. This will lead to an increase, a decrease in aggregate demand from AD1 to AD2. And this will lead to a decrease in the national income level from NY1 down to NY2. Again, it would make sense that in an economy, if people were saving more money and money was being taken out of the economy, that the level of national income and output would fall. The second movement in the aggregate demand line is when the whole aggregate demand curve increases or decreases. An example would be if, a bi if businesses collectively decided to increase their spending. In this example, we call spending investment. Collectively, if businesses decide to increase their investment in machinery and other capital goods, it would lead to an increase in aggregate demand. This increase would be unrelated to income levels. It would be a flat increase. At each level of national income, the amount of expenditure would be the same, leading to a parallel line. And the aggregate demand level would increase from AD1 to AD2. And as a result of this, we'll get a new level of national income. It will increase from NY1 to NY2. By recalling the equation for aggregate demand as being aggregate demand equals C plus I plus G plus X minus M, this increase in investment I can be shown with the equations, with AD1 equal, equaling C plus I1 plus G plus X minus M, an aggregate demand being C plus I2 plus G plus X minus M. The increase in investment would be equal to this amount of expenditure here. And this amount is equal across all income levels and leads to that parallel shift. It's worth noting here that the increase in national income is greater than the increase in investment. This distance here is the increase in investment and this distance here is the increase in national income. And we can see that national income increases greater than the level of investment. And this is called the multiplier effect, which we'll look at in other videos. In a similar way, we could see that we could have a decrease in aggregate demand. And as you would expect, a decrease in aggregate demand will lead to a decrease in national income. There's also a multiplier effect here too. So aggregate demand decreases from AD1 to AD2. And this leads to a decrease in national income from NY1 to NY2. Again, this might have been a decrease in investment, but it could have been any of the other factors as well. For example, if governments decided to decrease government spending, we could use that same equation and say aggregate demand 1 equals C plus I plus G1 plus X minus M, and the decrease in government spending will be C plus I plus G2 plus X minus M, and this amount here would be the decrease in government spending. 
We can use this concept to explain many economic, uh, many other economic concepts such as increase, uh, such as expansionary and contractionary monetary or fiscal policy, uh, the crowding out effect, and lots of other things that we'll uh, see in future videos.